Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, lovely having you. Thank so, you. everyone, we have Paras Jain, who's the founder and CEO at uh, Indo Wing, right? Uh, I love the name. First of all, you have to tell us one. What does what problem is it solving, and why is it called Indo Wing? Okay. So, um, firstly, uh, uh, I would like to tell you about what Indo Wings does. You know, it's uh, so we are a drone technology company, uh, where uh, where what the problem that we're trying to resolve now is reducing the operational cost of the overall project that is done uh, using um, using drones. So around 60% of the overall project cost is the operational cost that involves the but the, the cost of the pilot, it's it's travel, food, accommodations when they're on the ground to do the job. Wow, isn't so, it right? Yeah. Okay, 60%. Yeah, correct. So what we are trying to do is to uh, eliminate this cost by the help of technology that we are now innovating and uh, inventing. Uh, with the use of this technology, uh, we are looking to create 100 companies which will be ultimately uh, offering uh, pilotless drone operations. Pilot? Pilotless drone operations. Okay. So you don't need a pilot to fly the drone while doing the operations. Okay. The hardware itself has, has uh, an intelligence so that it can, uh, it can do a predefined task, um, come back, process the data and submit the report to the to the owner of the drone. Got it. And uh, uh, is this already in use somewhere, your product? Uh, yes, we are currently using uh, this technology. With, with, uh, it's already under uh, uh, the technical trials uh, with various uh, big corporates which are now looking to implement this rather than having a fleet of pilots to apply the drone. Like for example? Uh, some of them would be uh, one of the major use cases, uh, 5G network, network inspection. Okay. So all these towers, as you see, you know, um, uh, pipe, uh, if they speak about um, uh, 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 electricity uh, power line inspections, uh, we speak about, uh, you know, the mobile phone towers. So ultimately, firstly, they are very complicated missions. Yeah. You, you need a very highly skilled um, uh, workforce in order to accomplish these kind of operations. Uh, having an automation in this uh, allows the user to, uh, to preset all the parameters and make sure that the robot is actually doing the job rather right. than, you know, any... Understood. And uh, what is the size of these drones that are we? Uh, these drones are actually not very big. Uh, we, we are now reducing the size of the drones. Uh, and it's it, as, as it's as easy, as easy and so light to carry that you can carry in a, in a, in a small school bag. Interesting. So, yeah. uh, most of your market is going to be B2B then, is that right? Uh, most of it is B2B when it comes to uh, this aerial survey uh, uh, industry. Uh, but also B2G. Achha. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so how big is the team right now? We are currently uh, a team of 70 people. 70, all based on Noida. Based on Noida, yes. Right. And uh, uh, what's the kind of revenue you're clocking? Uh, the current revenue that we're clocking this year is somewhere around uh, 12 crores. And uh, yeah, we do have uh, uh, purchase orders in hand for around 30 crores, which we are going to be fulfilling uh, starting April. Uh, with this unit, we are uh, we are uh, looking to manufacture around thirty five thousand drones per annum, and uh, yeah, so it's 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 a it's a big facility uh, that also helps the other other industry members um, uh, to produce uh, drones for them as well, apart right. from us. So yes. And who are the major competitors in your market right? So um, actually, competition is on various different different segments. You know, That's right. not yeah. one someone doing all of what. No, not really. You know, some of them are doing agriculture uh, verticals. Some of the companies would be doing uh, defense vertical. But uh, all of these technologies combined, uh, very few companies uh, like us, you know, have where uh, uh, where under the same umbrella we we have a plethora of technologies. Right. And out of the seventy people, what's the split of uh, let's say tech versus other? Great. So that's actually one of the major uh, key things that we really look at. At Innowings, our uh, uh, engineering team. Uh, consists of around sixty-five uh, percent of the total workforce. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm guessing uh, your B2B sales force is the uh, other aspect. Is that right? Yes. Definitely. The other department that would take most people then. Yeah. Okay. And out of the revenue that you're clocking or the POS that you already have, what's the percentage of B2B versus B2G? So uh, actually, it's a healthy mix of both. Achha. If we if we speak about uh, See, because of the government policies now, um, the B two B market is also growing very fast. Yeah. Ultimately, the government is supporting um, you know uh, automation on all of these uh, various uh, use cases that are there. 
So people are now coming up with new ideas. They want to have higher revenue streams. So uh, especially, uh, you know, pilotless operations of our uh, um, uh, um, our drone box uh, allows the user to start any operations without having the fleet, without having the uh, True. the pilots to be that need to be hired. Great. Amazing. Uh, what, any last thoughts you want to share on the award that you've got? <laughs> uh, thank you for, you know, having me here. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to have this award today. Uh, this award definitely brings in uh, a push to our team. Uh, and also, uh, you know, I'm uh, nurturing them in terms of uh, adopting any kind of um, um, uh, automation and, you know, enhancement of uh, um, adoption of IT uh, uh, infra within the operational days and also without products. Great. Wonderful, Paras. Very nice talking to you. Thank you. And thank, thank you for coming. My pleasure. Thank you.